Hi guys, Ferds here. Um, today I'm going to talk about password recovery on a Cisco Catalyst 9200 series switch. Easy and real world procedure. Um, I actually tested this, this step is on a real switch. So I know it's that it works. Uh, you might think that, it, you know, it's, uh, it's long steps, but it's not. Uh, just uh, try to make it easier to follow. Uh, so let me go through the steps. So first, or step one is connect your PC, or, or in my case, it was I used a laptop. So I used a uh, console cable uh, that I connected to my PC, to the USB port of my PC or laptop, and to the RJ45 port and the switch. And I use um, I use this uh, I use Putty. And I use uh, these settings. So, um, since the switch that I use doesn't have a power button, I just unplug the power cable and plug it back. Yeah, and plug the power back. And while the um, uh, the hardware switch is initializing or booting up. I I was uh, I pressed uh, the mode button two or three times. So when, when I saw when I saw this uh, message here, initialization initializing hardware, that's when I started um, uh, pressing the mode button. Actually, I think I mean I think it, it was uh, more than three times. I just kept uh, pressing it, and then I got this message here. Uh, so basically, it failed to boot. The flash or the the uh, packages itself, so that's when you uh, you know that you did it uh, correct, and uh, you know you get to the Roman mode. Roman mode. I mean, yeah, you you will you will get to the Roman mode, and you type the this command here. So switch ignore startup uh, config, and you set it to one. So meaning that it's the switch will ignore the startup config. And you boot it. I mean, you type in this command to just tell the switch to boot the, uh, the uh, firmware, which is this or this on the flash. And the switch will uh, boot up. And you just have to type in no um, when you get to the initial configuration dialogs. Uh, but in my case, I didn't have to do this. I just uh, type in, I mean, I just typed enable to get to the privilege uh, exec mode. And then I copied the startup config to the running config. I didn't have to, it was just a test, of course, but uh, I didn't have to do this. Uh, but if you're going to plan to do this uh, on your own, you have to set the, of course, because in this case, we are, I mean, in this scenario, we, we are assuming that we forgot the password, right? So you have to set it uh, and, of course, remember the, remember the password. And you save it just to save the, the change that you, that you have made. And then uh, step 12, this is where you um, set the switch ignore startup config uh, to zero. So meaning you are telling the switch not to ignore the startup config. And you can, you know, you can verify that you have set it correctly by using this command here: show rom var pipe include switch. And then you reload the switch, which is, I mean, this is the command. And then uh, once it boots boots up, you can then, you know, type your password, which in my case, this. Um, I have this topology here, but uh, this switch doesn't support this command. Let me actually try this, see if it's going to work. Yeah, it doesn't support it. And also, but of course, this is just a, this is just a, uh, a switch in GNS3, so we don't really expect to 
work everything here, but uh, it, like I said, I tested it, I tested all these commands on a real switch, so I know it's working. And then, uh, like I said, uh, when you know the uh, switch has booted up, uh, you can also, I mean, you have to also verify that the ports are all up and running. If they are not, you can uh, just uh, uh, enable all of them. And you have to verify that the config register is uh, set to this value and not this value, because this one, this one, I mean, this value uh, ignores the startup config. So you have to make sure that uh, the switch will not uh, ignore the startup config again. And then you're done. So this, this, uh, I mean, these steps are applicable for 92 series switch, but I think it can be also used to other uh, models like 9300 uh, series switch, 9400, I mean, 94, 95, 96 uh, series switches. But uh, I used a 9200 series uh, when I tested all these uh, uh, steps. So that's it in this video. I just wanted to uh, make a video uh, about um, um, this particular topic because uh, there was a time when uh, someone forgot to uh, set back this parameter here. Uh, so you have to make sure, I mean, this parameter here, set back to zero. You have to make sure that uh, after you uh, perform a password recover recovery, and it's best to just follow these steps. Um, so you're not, I mean, you don't want to, you don't want the switch uh, to reload or just in case there is a power outage and it reloads without, uh, you know, the startup config. So you have to make sure that, you know, the configuration reg configuration register is set to this value here. So yeah, that's it in this video. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.